Well, it's the explosive new book about the Royals making headlines right around the world. And now the author of Endgame has broken his silence. Omid Scobie has appeared on British television to talk about how the names of two senior Royals accused of racism have appeared in the Dutch translation of that very book. It does feel like a stunt to sell books, which I understand. I wish it was you know, the case. Okay, how did it happen? Um, it's still being investigated right now. What do you think happened? I wrote and edited the English version of the book with one publisher. That, co that then gets man uh, licensed to other publishers. It comes after Piers Morgan revealed the names of the royals on national TV. Buckingham Palace is now considering its options. For more, we're joined by Daily Mirror associate editor Russell Myers. Good morning to you. Now, you have chosen to name those two alleged royals. We are not going to. Why did you decide to? Well, morning, Nat. Well, I think that this has been rumbling on for a few days now. And, uh, you know, we're, we're faced with an option of millions of people around the world have been discussing the two names of the royals identified in Omid Scobie's book. And interestingly, that he went on British television today to pretty much wash his hands of it, to say that he was only responsible for the English version, that he had authored and edited that version and that version alone. And then it was passed over to a Dutch publishers who have then uh, mistranslated his work. However, uh, the, the translator in question has been spoken to in Holland today. She has said her job was to literally translate the text in front of her. So the plot thickens in, in terms of where Omid Scobie lies. But our position was that the monarchy is under siege. And uh, when you're faced with the fact that millions of people have seen these two names and are discussing them openly, mm. then uh, we believe that there was a public interest to, do, to uh, publish. Yeah. And look, every media organisation gets advice from lawyers. We've got advice from ours. And that's what we're deciding. But we can still discuss it. So if how did those two names get in there? How, it can't be a mistranslation, can they, where two names are just sort of thrown into there, can they? Well, certainly if you're Amid Scobie, you would believe that there could, that could be the case. But I think that that is falling down like a pack of cards the, the yeah. further we go on. And the, the situation is that there was uh, one of the names mentioned which could have been a mistranslation. It could have been an error, as the Dutch publishers say. But the oh. problem for Mr Scobie is that there is an entire paragraph in the Dutch version that names these two individuals by their titles. Oh. And that, that does not appear in the English version. So where on earth have these words come from? As I say, the plot thickens with the hour on this one. Do you think it's a stunt to sell books? Well, certainly, as Mr Kobe said today, that he wished it was that simple. And, uh, well, he might, because I think that Buckingham Palace, considering all their options, they, they were considering legal action when I'd spoken to sources at the Palace uh, yesterday. And I think that the, the, the magnitude of the uh, events at his door at the moment, uh, may he, he may think that uh, it was that simple, but I, uh, I, I don't think that that is going to be the case for him. OK. Just quickly, do you think the royals will speak about it? Well, you know, we did have that uh, that, that uh, unprecedented statement when the, the late Queen said recollections may vary. We might get another statement like that, but the King is in Dubai at the moment for the COP28 um, environmental uh, uh, um, conference, mm. and uh, they won't want anything to take away from that at the moment. Okay, thank you, Russell.